morning folks Josh Spencer here with hit or miss outdoors uh, I took the boat out yesterday out on cave run it was pretty you know uh, I think it was about 65 degrees yesterday and uh, ended up getting I don't know six eight hundred yards away from the boat ramp and spun a hub on my prop so I trolled all the way back in didn't get to fish much but uh, besides that the water is way up, up up on cave run lake uh i would say 20 foot above summer pool i mean it's above parking lots right now uh, so i didn't really get to fish much it was 44 degree water and looked like chocolate milk and the conditions just wasn't very good so uh i did decide to put out a few minnow traps to see if I could catch a few for going fishing. I usually use a crappie magnet jig or uh, you know a Bobby Garland jig something but uh, every now and then I like to use a few minnows and I got to thinking a lot of people you know that use minnows they have to wait on a place to open up uh, go buy them some minnows when they could go out to a local creek somewhere and catch their own if they want to. So I'm going to show you what I use and if you want to you can catch your own so this here is a trap that I ordered you can buy them at Cabela's you can buy them at Bass Pro you can buy them usually at Walmart certain times of the year uh, and I recommend going and buying your own because I ordered this one and the picture showed it differently you can see here I don't know if you can see the hole that's in this one is way too big it's about I don't know a two and a half inch diameter hole they've got some that's got a little round washer it's maybe an inch hole that's the ones you want these here uh, you lose probably half your fish in this one here with this big hole they'll get in it swim around eat on your bait swim back out just too much of a hole in this one so I'm gonna show you with this one but I'd recommend getting the one with the smaller hole and I've also got a cloth one over here that's already out uh, I'll show you it too but uh, what it is basically is a funnel on the end here you put some bait inside of it the fish will swim in they can't find the hole to get back out and you pull them in and it's got a little clip here that holds the two halves together you see it'll just come apart got two little baskets with a funnel so what I use for bait is I find me some milk bone dog treats they don't matter you know if it's got flavors whatever you know it, it just don't matter anything like that will work a lot of people swear by onion and garlic stuff like that and that works but uh, this is just what I use so I grab a few of these treats here and I also went to Walmart and got this classic crappie and pan fish uh, scent it's ultra concentrated formula it says it has fish oils and pheromones it just gives a little more you know smell to it and uh, I'll just put a little bit on my milk bone coat it across here toss it in there a little bit on it Toss it in a little bit. Toss it in there. Okay? That's all you gotta do. You put that little bit on there, two or three of them. You don't need, you know, half a dozen of them. And uh, put it back together and throw it out. And I'm gonna show you there's a certain way you've gotta throw it out in the creek so that you'll catch something. If you throw it out just however, it ain't gonna catch anything. I'll just tell you. So stick with me. I'll show you this one real quick. It's uh, been out overnight. See what's in it. Oh yeah, several nice shiners. These would be good for bass. Uh, this one here, I got it online. It's basically the same thing, but it's got a it's cloth and got a big spring in it. Let's see here, if I can pull them out in this.
There we go. Alrighty. You can see them down in there. That's some big shiners. Uh, like I said, that'll work for uh, small mouth or uh, large mouth, whatever you're going to fish, bass fish. There's a few smaller ones that'll be good for uh, for uh, crappie or you know something like that. So, but uh, let me tell you how I do it. This one's got a, a little sack that comes with it so that they don't just eat all your bait right up. And I'd put it in there. This one's got a zipper on the side. Put it in there and zip it up, okay? And it's got the same funnel on it like this other one does. But what you want to do when you throw these out is you have to get it running with the creek. You can't just throw it out and it be sideways. You won't get anything in it, okay? So you throw it out. You see it there, and you want it running so that it's the same direction as the creek. The creek's running this way. That's the way I want the the trap. Like I said, if it turns sideways, you will not get nothing. Maybe one every now and then, just a fluke. But uh, this right here, they come swimming by, and they swim right through it, and they're stuck. So another issue with catching your own minnows is where are you going to keep them? Uh, I live really close to a creek, but wherever you have your traps out will work, you know. Uh, I got on Amazon, I think, a few years back, and I found this thing. It looks a lot like a trap. I don't know if you can see it here. Yeah, you can see it. It's just a cage. It's got a long center on it and two caps but there's no funnel on the end it's just completely enclosed and i'll put all my minnows in it and throw it out in the creek with maybe a chunk of that dog bone just to keep them you know something to eat and they'll filter stuff out of the creek also and you throw it out in a deep hole in the creek and that continuous running water through they'll stay alive for a long time and uh it works really well so like I said, you can see it here. You can go buy you one. You can see I'm gonna pull this one up. I've got several minnows in it. You can see them flipping and flopping and then some dog biscuits and stuff, but it does really well. The way I put uh, the minnows in, I got a bucket of water that I just stick my cage in and it comes undone with a clip just like the traps do you unclip it and take the lid off you see them down in there in the water and pour my new ones in all right we got them in there And I'll put my trap or my cage back together. I guess it's like a live whale. And uh, put my clips back on. See, I don't clip it here. Yep. Alrighty. And just pick it back up out of the water. Throw it out in the water. There it is. And they'll keep like that, like I said, for a long time. All right, I don't know if you can see it out here. I got uh, out in the middle of this deep hole here, threw this one out, and like I said, it's left to right with the creek. Hopefully it'll have something in it the next time. We'll see. Folks, another thing with these traps, you gotta work in between the rain. You don't want the creek rolling really hard uh, like say the day after a big hard rain it's gonna be flooded you know and high and muddy wait until it clears up and goes down to normal level and uh, then watch for more rain you got a day when it's supposed to rain thunderstorm come a big hard rain 
you better be taking them up. Now, the cage with the fish in it, I put it in a, a spot usually where the creek doesn't get too crazy. Keep it over next to the edge. I don't want it way out in the water. And uh, usually it, it'll be fine, you know. The fish will still be there. So keep an eye on your traps. Get them out for a big rain. My nephew Everett's helping me check the traps. I'm gonna go down here and get us some water. Dip it in that deeper hole there. Listening. See what we got in it. Looks like it's got something. See how many we got. These are good crappie sized. Let's see. Nah. Pour everything out. See me? Several of them in there, didn't I? I can't count them. Good crappie sized ones. Let's get our bait back up. Put it back in our trap. I can't count them. I can't. They're real good for crappie. Every one of them. There's probably one, two, three. Really? There's probably a dozen or so in that trap at time. Yeah, you can't count them. Get some more out of our cage so we can go fishing with them. Pull it up here, Everett. Careful, don't fall in. All right. That's a Let me lot stick of them fish. in here. Let's see if that, um, that stick one. Stick them in the water. One of that one that wasn't moving one is dead. It's the... Well, if I can get this to come off of here. Hey, Everett. Grab you a handful and put them in here. That's a big one. Grab a few more. That's all I could get. Well, that's all. That's cold. Let me grab some. Good job. That's the first time I can get them. Yep. They're hard to get, ain't they? Come on. Drop it water. Oh, that's a giant one. That's a big one. Pull them in here. There we go. Just a few more. Yeah, we keep more. There we go. That's I plenty like, to I like fish the with. Big ones. Plenty to fish with. Okay. We'll take them and catch us some, right? Ow. Well, folks, we uh. Got several minnows and we went out and me and my nephew Everett went out to the farm and used a few of them, caught some crappie out on the farm pond. And I'll show you a couple pictures here of Everett holding the fish. And, uh, that's all you gotta do. Get out there, find you a creek, take your traps and some dog biscuits, and throw them out there and catch you some minnows. Good luck to all of you. I hope you get you a bunch, catch you a bunch of fish, and uh, I appreciate you joining us. And I ask that you'll go on Facebook and Instagram, and uh, even TikTok, and like Hit or Miss Outdoors, and uh, go to YouTube and like and subscribe to our videos. Hit the bell so you'll get notifications about new videos. And uh, like I said, thank you again. Have a good one.